Here we are in the orchards of Dave Wilson Nursery and we're looking at a Flavorella Plumcot. This variety can be a challenge to set fruit, but with the help of some great fruit hobbyists, we have some ideas of what pollinator may work and we're gonna isolate these flowers, pollinate this variety with another suggested variety and we're gonna see if we can't make this thing set a tremendous crop. The bag is around the flowers to protect it. Looking inside the bag, what we have is blooms that are just about ready to open. So if you can see, what we'll have is no penetration from outside contaminating sources. Pollen's collected from the Goldkist apricot to be used to pollinate the flowers that have been protected underneath the bag. The bag will be removed, the pollen then applied to each one of the individual flowers, contact is made, the flavorella should be pollinated. We'll come back a little later and check the results. Here we are visiting the uh, flavorella plum cot and removing the bag. Pollen is, pollination should have occurred under the bag at this point. And we'll wait to come back where the blue tag will tell us later on if we have fruit. Using the gold kiss as a pollinator on this limb, we find that we have one, two, three, four, five, six fruit set under the, oh, seven fruit set under this bag. That looks pretty good. Under this bag, another example using gold kiss as a pollinator where we have a set of one, two, Three, four, five, six. Looks pretty good. I would say conclusively, uh, gold kissed as a pollinator. The common question is what is unpollinated or pollinated fruit? This is a pollinated fruit. These that knock off lightly to the touch are unpollinated fruit.